adding new page, services, about us, portfolio, this kind of pages. Let's click on edit pages. As you can see, we have already some sample pages right here, which I added earlier. Uh, to add new page, please use plus sign to delete it. First select and then click minus. The third icon is used to duplicate select page. The fourth one to rename, just for your own uh, reference. Let's uh, customize the page called our services. Right. So for the purpose of this video, I will just delete it and add it again. Click plus. For those kind of pages uh, about us, services, portfolio, uh, I will be using one of the HTML pages which are located right here. And what I like to do is just to switch the view of the of the pages. For this, please click on grid view right here. And now you see more how they look like. Okay, let's select maybe this one and click next. So I will call it our services. It could be any about us, portfolio and similar. Okay, now what we what you can do is add your own header right here, text, you just select the old one and input yours, select, delete, and input yours. To change the image, all you need to do is just click on the, on the image, delete, and input yours. For the purpose of this video, I have chosen the browser which is not compatible, compatible with our, our website. And just to show you what will happen if your, your browser, which you are using now, is not compatible. So, I like to change the image and I'm clicking on it and it's not selecting. Not selecting. And this is because I'm using Safari now, which is not comp fully compatible. Uh, as well, if you using Internet Explorer, you may have some kind of problem. Uh, let me sh switch to Firefox and show you how this supposed to look like. A very quick, let me do this. Okay, so we see in the same page and now I'm clicking on the header and it's nicely selected. I can enlarge it. As I do it, I see, uh, I see the, the size of it. Okay, so select, delete, and then to put your own image, you click on this insert image right here. And then you can either upload your own on, or choose one of the uh, one of the stock images we supply you. You can use it freely. I will use the same which was before. Uh, it was the name was head image which is right here. So I just select it and click choose and it appeared. But this could be obviously yours. The same the same scenario in with those images in here. Uh, if you finish customizing to your needs, all you have to do is just click save and then done. Now we give you uh, two nice options right here to add own buttons and images and text. Just let's just click the first one. What you can do now, you have option here to add image, button and text. And you can locate it by dragging whatever you like. I'm gonna just choose this button that appeared here. So all I need to do is just grab it 
and just slide whatever you like. Okay, in here you can so you can choose uh, the link after the button is clicked, image background, position, background color, text. This could be our portfolio. Right here, click save to appear. Then you can just customize the text to be in center. Save. Okay, right now you see it didn't change. I'm not sure exactly why, but let me just click done and edit it again. Okay, one more time. Center. Oh, now it's fine. Okay, if you like to. Uh, center the, the name, all you have to do is just play with this li line height, which is right here, and just input 3, see what's going to happen, nothing, let me just do it again, not sure why it's happening, but for some reason it's not saving, one more time, that's it. Okay, now save and done. The button is right here. When you click it, it will go to whatever you uh, specified on the previous screen. Uh, what else you could do in here? You could uh, make bold text, uh, italic. You can align it left, center, right. Uh, just by you can change the text color you can change the, the background of the text uh, you can do uh, different font names uh, input image table you can link to external uh, page external location uh, within the page you can insert Google Maps links. This one is on this feature in App Purchase is only available for mobile application, native one. Uh, what else you could do? Insert mail to link, uh, insert phone number link. Uh, let's see how let's see let's see how this this one work. Let's say this will be contact us page and you would like to input one touch call us a button so first I will just put it in, in the middle then click on insert phone link call us now I will call it and then phone number so sample insert as you can see right here, when you click it, the phone will uh, uh, dial the number. Okay, what else we have here? Insert YouTube video. To insert YouTube video, I will click it here. Then uh, paste the code which you can take from the from the YouTube in here. And, and click insert okay let's, let's just take this one um, let's share so we click on share if you're not familiar with it share then embed in here you like to customize custom size we need 320 then select the page, double click, copy, go here, input, and insert. A video will appear right here. And few more things you can do, like input 
uh, audio file, uh, MP3 or WAV. Uh, your own. If you don't like uh, to embed any videos, you can just upload them on the server and use our AV Media Player. You can create paper button, uh, own shopping cart as well, and favorite button. After you finish, click save. The page is done.